Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. We're at Freedom's Drift here, and just watching Natalia fill in a couple of voids that have been driving me nuts for a long time. Otherwise, we're 5 in the morning, just about 6 in the morning, everything's kind of waking up and moving about. Let's travel through our, our, uh, our roster here and see what everybody's up to. So, Tomislav is feeding Santana, who's got two infections. Otherwise, right shoulder and heart are just about to to come off the, the chart here, and everything else is, is healing up nicely. Handy, what you up to? You are working on Bliss's room. Right there. So we got to get Bliss's room done. we got to move into these other two rooms, especially this... Well, it's only the two built here, but yeah, we need to get all these built. Um, I queued up these for, for mining, these two other rooms, to get uh, eight actually eight plus one uh well actually klaus isn't truly melee so eight melee rooms up and going um rabbit i got a whole list of things for you to fill in thank you very much shantigo our one-handed cook lead cook he is working on the fine meals um klaus you are resting your schedule's all out of sync so you're up at night and sleeping during the day right now before you go to sleep, go ahead and clean up your room. Thank you, Sangria. Is out here doing some planting. She's got uh, planting skill as well as work with the animals. Kathra, you are taking care of the rest of the uh, rest of the strawberries. But you got to take these trees out before that can be done. Let's chop down kind of this whole area. Ooh, the eclipse ended. The sun is out. Oh, that's nice. Yellow is good. <laughs> All right, let's take those trees out there. Nothing's popping in. Minor break, Phaeton. Um, popping in as far as trees in the way of our wind turbines. Just check, have to check that every once in a while. Everything over here, there is some dirt over here, so it is possible for something to suddenly sprout. So I do need to check these once in a while. But I also want to, uh, now this, this pathway here could be concrete all the way through, but I don't want to, bury all of our concrete because this is planting area you know, this is soil and we need to we need to plant um where am i sangria kathra kathra okay natalia that's where i was so she is making components i've got her um enslaved into it too so we're gonna have to keep an eye on her needs and see what she needs to break otherwise components is never the first one and i don't know how to force it to be so I guess I could turn the machining table down, but then she'll never get back there again. Because you can do components forever. Ah, I don't know what to do with that one. So I guess we need two people. That is back to Faden. Have to... All right, Faden, what you up to? We'll, we'll shortcut to the end here real quick. Mood is there. Joy is there. Uh, queuing, hauling stuff to sh shelves. I don't want you hauling wood. Why don't you bring the shelves over? Huh. Well, let's clear that and go use your telescope. That'll make you happy. Uh, Natalia, Michael, or Chip too. Michael is doing some butchering. Good. In a really messy area. Who around here can do some cleaning? Actually, Sanger is about to finish her list. She's training witch, then she can pop over and clean the area. Alicia. Actually, Alicia could do it instead. I like that better. Alright, something like that. Um. Or was I? Sangria, Kethra, no, Natalia, Michael, Miss B. Oh, is that Michael? Because he is butchering and he doesn't clean. That's why I had to change all that. Okay, Miss B. You are mining out the last of this little area. Um, actually, you know, we really should do all of this so we can get real walls built in here, too. Yeah, didn't think about that before. That would be important. There, let's clear all those out. All right, so yeah, we'll put real walls around that. Do we go a little further down? This is really just an extension of this, so there is no defined limit. We'll see. We'll see. We'll let her finish that off. Let's get... This is going to be a door right there and right there. And otherwise, the rest of the wall is, is still stone wall. Okay, that was uh, Mississippi. You're right there, Alicia. You are already done cleaning that area up impressive and shantigo's messing it all back up again um otherwise you're going to do some random sewing and and harvesting and, and what have you okay eric 
you are continuing to add walls here in the new prison area. That's good. I asked you to work on Vliss's floor. Did that happen? It happened. Let's pause right here because I want to get some more of this done. Um, you're still in good shape for a while and you're liking the construction. That's giving you a joy boost. So <clears throat> come on over and get another joy boost right over here. Is this the best, route, best one to do? Uh, we're not going to do uh, Radar's room because he is ascetic and I think that would actually help him to have a rough floor. This one's going to be carpet. Don't know when it's going to be though. Hmm. Over here. Hmm. Trying to think of what characters we got coming up. They're all shooting. Okay. Let's. Yep, yeah, let's work on this one. So I was at Eric. You're going there. Let's grab this one. What do I want here? Smoothing. Let's get half the room set up with you. I think you've had a meal. Yep. So you're good for a while. So let's give you half the room. And no power at this end. Why is that? You're just not connected right. Okay. We snapped that one and you're good. Okay, so that's there. Um, David, you are meditating. When you're done, I want you to clean up this area. Bill's room. I think there might be dirt right there. You can do that one too. Otherwise, you are ready to head to bed. So, not going to get you to do more of Bliss's room. Maybe Bliss can. Grandma, you, I'm to break rest. Back to oh, Miss P this time. Who's eating and she'll take care of it. Okay, I was at Grandma. So, needs, you are halfway through your rest. You're going to be fine. Meal's fine. Okay, Bill. There. You are sewing. Joy is up. Uh, not a green thumb, so you don't get a bonus from it, but you're enjoying it anyway. Um, this area here. I've been, queuing, I've been waiting for someone to tear these down. Just need to coordinate that properly to have... What was that? Bliss failed construction marble block wall. Okay. Um, we'll need to burn the, the skeletons as they come out. Eventually we do that to all of them. Then we can move more growing into the area. But I think we've got all we can handle at the moment. Um, we'll get to new recruit at the end there. So I've got as far as Bill. Let's move on to C. Actually, Bill, your needs. You're in good shape. Okay. C stars. Went to bed. Had her. Actually, I asked her to move over and start working on this is just the two i wondered about that so copy and do that We've got four more components because we're really hurting on components down to one so i need someone to fill in these blanks here that would be well as we get into radar and bliss they both do construction and i also queued up a little stockpile to have blocks brought over construction blocks so that they wouldn't have to haul it but now i'm seeing that's probably not going to happen so let's cancel that, and we'll just have somebody bring the uh, the, the 15 over. Um, Faith, can you do me a favor, though, and haul these? Uh, haul components. That way they won't be in the wall when it's time to queue up the uh, hauling of the blocks. Thank you. And just we'll just get you inside, then we'll, we'll clear you. You can go back to your work out here and get a, get a pig to bring that in. There we go. All right, go do what you wish. Sangre, you are training Equity. We have a dog named Equity. <laughs> um, I had gotten to, I don't remember, Sea Stars, and she was one that was supposed to be doing that. Kaya, you are attempting to recruit Dina. Okay, we've got to get your new tailoring room done soon. That's, that's on the list over there. Um, otherwise, you are... What is this? That is a leather pants. Okay, someone has just picked up a duster. That's why we're one less. Um, I think it was Kaya a while back. I don't think it was. Let's see, who else would it have been? No, I think it was Kaya. Or correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. That had brought up the idea of a dumping stockpile and get rid of some of the clothes that were the lower quality and dead man and what have you already here. And the conversation of that comment was about would it take them off of our list being a dumping pile rather than a stockpile 
if you dump something, does it no longer count against our total quantity of t-shirts, for instance? Well, they've been dumping, and I'm not seeing these numbers changing any. We still have 26 of 26, and 33 of 33. There's several pairs of pants over there now. So I don't get the impression that just because it's in a dumping stockpile that it actually decreases the count which is, I think the whole conversation came up when we brought in more prisoners and suddenly I knew I had to go back and modify these because I still needed new shirts made even though we just got five new shirts dumped on us that were all torn up and it offset the count, you know, 21 to 20, 26 out of 21. So I had increased it up to, to get one above it and she made another shirt for us and matched it out. But point is, I don't think the stocking, the dumping stockpile takes away from the count of the whole colony. So that's that was a little experiment I was wanting to pay attention to there. Um, so Kaya, that was you. You're working with Dina. Turn this back on. Faith, you are over here planting. That's right. Needs are pretty good. Um, Manuela, you are uh, swapping out cotton. Are we getting cotton for it? We are. So these cotton plants over here are 92% grown, so we're getting something out of them. I assume we're all piling them in the same pile over there. So this one just made... Well, thanks, yummy. <laughs> this one just made... Eight. Okay. So there's a bunch of cotton coming in. And we're swapping all this stuff out, getting more of the hay produce. Alicia is now working back up in this area. Ah, oh, okay. So we've progressed back to the to the damaged area. Well, kind of. They're skipping. Well, I see they're working down here. We have four down here working. Oh, good. Lots of planting going on. Cyprian's on cleaning mode right now until Dina becomes a diamond who will then take over cleaning of the whole colony. We still have that in there. Need to reset this one. And that door stuck open. Oops. Any of the doors that we opened up for that day? Nothing in here. No, everything else looks okay. So that's got to be reset. I need to send somebody in there to gingerly pick that out of there. Yeah, that's always a little heart-stopping, watching them do it. Just waiting for the, the message to pop up. Um, we got as far as Manuela, I want to say. Faith, yeah. Radar, you are over here cutting a stone block into chunks. I want you to quickly pop over here and build these for me. Thank you. Since you're over there next to the blocks anyway, just pick them up and be on your way. Um, Cyprian, what was that? That was over here. Somebody just got nuzzled by yummy. Natalia? Social? No. Radar? Nuzzled by Labrador Retriever. That must have been it. Which gives him a mood boost does not interesting i thought that would have been there huh okay um radar cyprian planting good good shape not really need something more fun to do and apparently planting isn't it growing Cyprus, no, Cyprus cleaning, not planting. It just happened to be over here next to the little sprouts. Okay, so you want to do artistic things, and you're pretty much, uh, yeah. Let's get you doing something fun. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna be cranky, Mr. Cranky Pants. Cyprian, you're over here. Let's get your art back up to a one, and let's see if we can get a little bit of that before the day runs out. There you go. Go make a small sculpture. You probably already got one started, don't you? Um, Grandma, Billy, Grandma, Sissy. Sissy started working on one. we got to work on Sissy. And Billy. So Cyprin's going to start a new one. And we got something else new down here. Sissy has already popped out a... <laughs> popped out a statue. Um, okay, well, that's out of order. We'll get there eventually. So that was Cyprin. Bliss, you... Are. They're working faster than I am. That's what the problem. So let's get that built there. And that is a wall. And Bliss, you are hauling granite to granite auto doors. What are you up to? Oh, you're getting this built. All right. I'm going to leave you alone then. These, I wanted to be 
replacement auto doors. Or actually, could they be real doors? Well, the outer two, I would especially want auto doors, but we just don't have enough components to pull that off right now. It would really be nice for them to be able to stand either here and here or here and here, so they're within three of each other, and they can be shooting right through each other and, and guaranteed not to not to harm one another. Um, so that was Vliss, and you go ahead and do what you want, Billy. You are working on crazy things down here. Faden, Faden, let's pause here. Got to figure out what to do with Faden. So Faden is a character that walked in on us and joined on his own, and he's not got the the characteristics that match what um, what um, the last three that I subscribers that I'm aware of wanted. So we still have a list of people that had signed up long ago, back in episodes one and two, and have since not responded to those uh, two or three different episodes that I've, uh, actually three or four different episodes that I've called out names. So I'm going to call off a bunch of names one more time. And if you want Faden, then let me know. If you want a character but not Faden, let me know. I'm trying to decide whether to just boot Faden out, which is character right there, banish, and Faden will leave because he's not a subscriber. Or if somebody wants him who's listening right now, whether on this list or not. So let me know what you think. Otherwise, next episode, I may go ahead and, and toss Faden out and we'll see if anybody else wanders into the map. Um, looking to hear back from... Baldrick, Norman, Pavel, Gnarly, Choctaw, Otis, Doc Logan, Oldman, Arcane, Cat, Hydelion, and Jabram. So, any of you guys are still watching, let me know. If you want Faden, let me know. If you want a character other than Faden, maybe the next raid, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to assume if I hear from none of you guys that you are done watching the series and I'll just cross all the names off this time. Um, anybody whose name is not on there and wants to be part of it and wants Faden or a future character, let me know as well. So that takes care of Faden and now I'm going to work on Sissy who just went to bed. Sissy is joining the colony as... Oath Knight. Let's see if I get this spelled right. I think that's the way that you had spelled it a long time ago asking for this character. Oath Knight. And Oath Knight and a few others between episodes, I ran through the Prisoner Experimentation Ward, we're calling it, and changed some of the stats a little bit. Because Oath Knight had been waiting for a rather specific character for a very long time, so I went ahead and modified a little bit. He wants a minigun. He's the one that we've been talking about this whole series wanting to uh, to uh, to sling one of these guys. I don't know where the miniguns are. You're down here now. You're in the armory right there. Superior minigun has been sitting there waiting for him. So he wants to minigun through a herd of muffalos or or uh, not going to work too well down the gauntlet. I mean, you put him right here to send, send out a barrage of miniguns. We're just going to end up repairing all the walls inside the gauntlet because it's going to spray and splatter everywhere. But in an environment where a herd is coming through and just to kind of pew-pew the whole area, it would probably be kind of interesting. So I went ahead and upped his shooting skill a bit. And where did you go? What bedroom did you grab? Oath Knight. Okay, I was looking for a sissy. So you grabbed a hold of Eric's little closet from a long time ago. Um, health character. So increase the shooting a little bit to offset the the um, um, the inaccuracies of the minigun, just to kind of even things out. That's probably equivalent to like a, a six with a with a regular gun. Um, otherwise, increase cooking enough to be able to handle fine meals, because he wanted to be one of the cooks, so we'll assign that. And then took intellectual up a little bit. He wanted to be able to do some research. And there was something else in there growing to be able to effectively grow. Otherwise, iron-willed and hardworking. So let's see who is Oath Knight. Oath Knight was a medical assistant as a child. Was born during a catastrophic war in which both sides used napalm extensively. He grew up helping his parents in an infirmary, treating the cascade of horrific burns from the battlefield. He was left with a lifelong fear of fire. Ah, it is not firefight, but got some medicine bonus there. 
as an adult, was a Glitter World surgeon. Worked as a surgeon on a mostly on a on a world mostly free of disease and human suffering. His job mostly involved elaborate and creative cosmetic surgeries. He has a good understanding of human biology, but never had to remove a, a cancer or a bullet. Okay. So, as an adult, but did as a kid somehow. So, we've got a bonus to social and medicine and art. So, we've got Oath Knight, who is basically a, a doctor who enjoys cooking. <laughs> there you go. Iron Willed. Will Iron... Oh, bleh, I can't even read. Oath Knight's will is an iron shield. Is it? That's kind of an awkward wording there. He keeps going through thick and thin when others broke down long before. Okay, I think I'd rewrite that one myself, but that gives a my, uh, mental break threshold of negative 18%. Wow, so that's the opposite of the very neurotic we saw, which is kind of almost, yeah, I think it was a plus 14% all the time. So that changes this, right? pushes these three lines further down the bar. So quite a bit before it actually triggers into a um, uh, minor break risk. And then hard worker, global work speed at plus 20%. Natural hard worker and will finish tasks faster than most. So that is Oath Knight and welcome to the colony. Let's set your, your tasks here. Um, Oath, right in there. All right, so you are a doctor. You are a cook, so you'll default next to cook, right there. Then you'll drop into art as a two. Otherwise, go back to the beginning. Wardening is a four, so you can feed the meals. Handle, you are pretty good at handling too, so you want to handle or art as your fallback when there's no cooking. There we go. Construction is a ten, actually. Boy. You got a pretty good character here. Okay. Um, growing is also pretty good. And that's pretty good. So we'll have to figure out just how to coordinate the other uh, fallbacks. But at the moment, it's doctoring and cooking. And we do need the cooking. I really do. I want to make sure that 24-7, there's somebody over there trying to find some rice somewhere on this map and dragging it over and turning it into a fine meal for us. So that is Oath Knight. You're, you're right over here. Already got you to no drugs. Got you to range. And you just went to bed. How bad off are you right now? Needs fairly low. But before any more time goes by, let's go ahead and get you set to pick up this as your weapon. So equip the minigun and you're on this side as a ranged character. Let's go ahead and give you this one. This bit over here, Oath Knight, you will be at the end, you will be at the end. All right, so you've got a bedroom that is mostly smoothed out, got to add more to it. Um, and you were asking a long time ago for marble furniture. That's right. So let's set up, hmm, turn that off. This bed is superior. This bed is a blueprint. Is superior. Okay. I was going to say we tear one down somewhere. Where do we need a bed put in? These are wooden beds out in the prison. Okay. Then we could we could cancel that one. Move this bed to reinstall. Where am I? Right there. Yeah, right there. Eventually, that's going to get moved. Then we'll rebuild all of this. Luckily, we haven't actually gotten very far. Let's go ahead and do that now. Cancel you and put in furniture, dresser, and marble. Like so. You are a shelf. Cancel you. Shelf, <clears throat> marble. Like that. Nightstand. Superior. Okay, good quality. So we'll move you also into the same jail cell. Which went over... That one's already done as a steel. Wooden. That just got moved over from the... That got moved over from the... The uh, hospital. I didn't need any more built, right? No, so no reason to bring it. put it back. Okay. So let's grab this one then. 
Cancel you. Move this one. There. Reinstall. There. Santana, what you doing? You are... Immunity's been... You're basically healed. So, Kaya, you going to haul him off to his uh, new room? You are. Okay. So, Dina's there, and Santana will be in one of these rooms, and we're ready to go. Ready to be recruited. Okay. <clears throat> and I needed a nightstand. Well, they call him, what, an end table? Right there. End table. Marble. Into... Oh, it's already here. I can't just do that. Okay. We'll stick in the middle of the room. That way, when I get my notice at three episodes from now and say, why is that there? I'll remember to shove it back into that corner. Okay. Well, in that case, um, Oath Knight, when you are done picking that up, you're going to wander over here. And you're going to clean that dirt and you're going to pop off to bed. Okay, then. And your schedule. Um, restrict. Got you on a normal day schedule. And I think that'll work just fine. Any reason to have both night at night? Cooking at night with Grandma? That might not be a bad idea. Huh. And, hmm. I'll set it for that for now, and let me know what you think. If you want me to switch you back or not. But giving Grandma some backup for nighttime cooking might be a pretty smart thing to do. We'll go that route for now until I hear from you. Okay. So with that, we've gone through the list. All right. Just let the game run. So we need, needed these filled in. That almost happened. So Eric, you are working on granite auto door, hauling granite blocks. So you're up in this area. So Bliss, you are too. Uh, needs... You're going to break before too long. And that still has 50 work. These take a while to build. Which means that's going to take a while to build. Eric, you are also right on that verge. David, you're up for the day. Where are you at? You are grabbing a meal. Okay, there's the answer. So when you're done with that meal, you're probably going to want to warden. But you can warden after I get you to... Never mind. Andy's got it all under control. Klaus is going to do the other one. Okay, then don't have to worry about it. Good. What do I have to worry about? I'd say getting more bedrooms done. Now, Oath Knight's going to be sleeping in here real soon. There he is. So once that he gets there, I can't work in that room. This is carpet. That doesn't get smoothed. So the next room to work on is kind of down in here. Sea Star is clearing out more. So, who is available? It's 20 hundred to get started on something. Speaking of working on something, did Vliss's... This is Vliss, right? Yeah. What we got left to do here? We need 25 more deer hide. And we need this not to be weapons. So, copy, paste. Okay, that's done. You... Alright. Who made this? Eric made a wooden dresser. Excellent. Titled Bliss with Art. Art from Eric. This furniture is engraved with the artwork of Tomislav, packing supplies for a journey with an eager look on his, in his eyes. Three swans wander peacefully. A personified depiction of desire appears to the right of the main scene, with the overall composition rectangular. This representation relates to Tomislav departing for adventure back on that uh, when they took off to uh, to go make that trade long ago the caravan um, otherwise any more art floating around here that we don't know about that we haven't already read I know we've got the one piece of art that that Oath Knight just did okay everything looks calm over here all right um so when Oath Knight gets up, we need to transport these guys out and get these parts built. Um, just debating who's going to do what right now, but let's just go ahead and let them do whatever they want. Hello. So that didn't qualify. So what do we have here? This was Chicken by Purple. Um, where's our studio? 
Where am I? Oh, they're, they're making them faster. I can keep up with them now. Okay, let's just pause this for a second. So this one, we've not read yet. This was made by Billy. And Beauty of Only 25. So it must have a, a setting over here. Storage of... Oh, we're at the top. Yeah, good to legendary. I see. Okay. So what was this one before it becomes something to trade later? Or if it has a really good story, we may pull it back in. But I don't know it's, it's a poor quality, so maybe not. Art by Billy. What do we have here? Um, depiction of a blade. The style is sinuous with Romanesque elements. The smiling head of a townsman watches over all. Okay, so nothing specific to us. This wooden one is new, though. Orange Vision by... Still says Sissy. I wonder if that will reset itself when the game resets. So by Oath Knight. This work bears an image of uncountable guns. <laughs> okay. It's got to go in Oath Knight's room. <laughs> Almost every shape in the image seems to be well balanced. The scene takes place in the middle of a community. All right. That one gets installed over here in this corner. It has to. Okay. <laughs> that one's going somewhere. Uh, Love by Rab Labrador Retriever. It was it was generic. It didn't really fit us. This one is by Billy. This is new. Artwork. What is that? 13. All right. So, May May. Boy, who was May May? That was an enemy. This carving bears a representation of May May being disabled with quick, efficient movements. Bill is baring his teeth. The lower part of the image is dominated by a tree, while the image is totally devoid of both thought and starvation. <laughs> it's devoid of starvation. Artwork refers to the disabling May May of 12th of December last year. Okay, so this one installs over in Bill's room, which is here. So we'll toss it in that corner. And this one None of these have... This one needs a home. Um, Something generic. Something to boost an area. Could boost the kitchen a little bit more. Like that one. Uh, which means it could go right in that space and make the kitchen... This is always going to be a dirty area for some reason. So let's boost the beauty with statues. I think that's a, probably a wise move. So you're going to go there. All right. So that takes care of all that little bit of homework. Um... We have a heat wave going on. That's right. Whole day went by. I just remember that. Still only 102 outside. So not bad. Um, 73 indoors. Not very hot. We're doing fine. How the kitchen, how the, the fridge is doing. We're at 32 degrees. So we're at freezing over here. 34 degrees refrigerated. Over here, 34 refrigerated. Here, 33, 32. Kitchen's fine. Batteries. Um, it had been dropping last time, and I realized as I was editing, it's because we had the eclipse going. So no more solar power adding to it. But that's all done, and we've pretty much caught up. So we're in good shape there. Um, beyond that, Night Crew is doing what at the moment? Klaus is accidentally on Night Crew from his injury. slept all day, and he's... Where are we? Actually, 2200, he's going to bed and kind of resetting his schedule. He's not going to stay in bed long, but he's going to bed nonetheless. So you're going to clean before you go to bed. Thank you. David's just getting up. And no cleaning around this area. Don't want to wake up Eric. Okay, David is attempting to recruit Dina. If he does, then then Dina will uh, will get to uh, join us to uh, be named next episode. Santana, I accidentally stripped. I sent someone in to feed him, and apparently I clicked the wrong thing because Santana's walking around... Um, a little bit embarrassed. Do we have a negative there? Nap negative six. Naked while Boar's pregnant, of course. Um, let's get some clothes over here. How can we do that? Zone. Stockpile. One right there. One right... Nope, that didn't work. Let's do that again. Erase you. Stockpile right there. All right. You... Let's pause before the dogs start doing something with those. Clear all. And pr critical priority for apparel 
and in generic, eight pants. And then over here, actually, let's just grab this one and copy it. Copy this one, paste, and a shirt. Um, T-shirt? Yeah, we're making T-shirts. Turn the pants off. Okay, so something's going to get brought over. He's going to put them on. All right. David is really working on Dina here. How's Dina doing? Health. Miss P got food poisoning from berries. Meals? We have meals. But she's eating out there for some reason. Okay. Um, needs decent. Gonna need food. It has food already. Okay. And Santana, same thing. Health. Immunity in both. Uh, who was the other one that needed immunity? Oath Knight. All right, he's got it. Radar is long past his, right? Or rabbit, I mean. Yeah, yeah, no problem there. So we're truly in Night Shift now. Klaus, there's some loving going on over here, Klaus and Sangria. I have not seen that the entire time they've been married. That's the first time. Social, what does that do? So, it, well, we just saw a boost right there. Makes them happy. It also throws in this uh, plus 12, which is really nice when that happens. Um... Otherwise, night crew, Klaus is up. He is meditating. Okay. Then he may go over and do some more uh, uh, wardening. Otherwise, up right now, Miss B. Was near Radar's room. Ate his berries. They may have been sitting there for a while. That may be what's going on. She must have been over here and got hungry. I can't say that's only for Radar. So Radar probably has a uh, disturbed... Disturb sleep. Yep. Uh-huh. That's what happened. Follow the evidence. <laughs> Miss P, you guys are working over here. Let's... Are we done up in here? No. Miss P, needs... You're good for a long time. Come over here and do these five. And... Alicia... Sea Stars. You come over here and do these five. Let's get this room laid out before, maybe before this episode ends. Um, just looking at this steel over here. How are we doing on steel? 900. We're still decent. We've got a supply in there. We've got more in here. Yeah, that's actually steel right there. You just can't see it. Before we get this wall built, we need to get that carved out. Or I need a pathway that comes in behind and taps into here or something. Um, otherwise, rest of night crew. David, you are... Working with Santana, okay. And then, what can I get David to actually work on? Let's get one of these rooms up and going. Let's work on this. And then, just kind of pop over and add something to each one of these. Yeah, just kind of bring things over and kind of get that process started. That was David. Grandma is butchering because we are out of veggies. Meals are balancing on the brink of disaster and waiting for a good-sized batch of potatoes or rice to come in and see if we can't, uh, you know, get things. We're going to use it as fast as we're making it, though. This one is going to be tough. We're going to have to probably put up a bunch of wooden, single-walled greenhouses this winter just because it takes so long to make a good quality permanent one you know all of these are auto doors and they're all going to require components they are natalia you are back in here gonna to have to distract you again food let's get a meal in you right there and then get you into here and make me more some more components there's one there and that is it these did they get brought in they did and we still just have one because they're using them to make these auto doors as we go. There's one there. Uh, parts have been brought over to this one. Components. Yeah. So one by one. Over here. No components yet. This one. No components. This one. No components. So yeah. Components are going to go away as fast as we can make them for a while. Um, does this go bad in the rain? It does not. Okay. Well, that does need to get moved. Otherwise, Miss P didn't make it. There she is. Health, peg leg, slower. Okay, that's why. Um, so that was Grandma needing foods. Sea Stars, you're working over there. Faith, you are just getting up. 
They're gonna go so an area. They always want to go disturb everybody. Okay, need a meal? Not really, not yet. Then come on up over here. Let's give you something specific to do. Let's clean up these areas. Like that. Actually, do these first. Yeah, clean this area up. Come on over here and get this area cleaned up. Then... Plants, voids. Actually, they're doing a pretty good job of filling everything back in. <clears throat> yep, it's looking pretty good. Um, get you up as far as here, and then you can take off and do whatever you want. These can go away. Deconstruct. Okay, who's up here? David, you are... You're working on there. So you're the night crew carpenter, and you're busy. Uh, Faith, Manuela, you're getting up and... You sowed your own area. Good choice. Okay. Otherwise, you are going all the way up into here to work on, continue working on here. Needs, you're not too far from a meal. It's fine if you don't get it just yet. Moods are looking pretty good all around now. Uh, radar, you are up. You're cutting stone blocks from chunks. You've got some construction skill. Just wondering what to do with it. What's it take to get this going? We need, we need a lot of components to get that going. Darn. Okay, same thing. We got components here. Hmm. Is it really necessary? It was more of a aesthetic thing to have another comms console in here. Have one there, have one over here, and something else wherever appropriate. But yeah, let's not... In fact, let's, let's steal the components. Build, copy, cancel... Put it back in. There's four components for two more doors. Okay. Natalia, you're working here. Great. Make me as many components as you can. Thank you. Otherwise, everybody's getting back up again, so it doesn't matter what we're doing. Um, Oath Knight is dropping into animal tending. So let's look at that. Right there. So I got cooking there. There just isn't enough cooking to do because there's no food. There's no veggies. I see. Simple meals have probably been... No, Michael's taking over the simple meals. And that's just me. So he's he's making burgers right now. And over here, simple meals. We have our stack of ten. We have nine of them. Okay. Uh, new recruit we're done with. Billiards need space. We'll be done with that in another three days. And that'll go away. Otherwise, you need a lot of wood to get all of these chairs built. Or just gave birth. Let's see what Sangria's been up to over here. And minor break wrist. We'll get back to that. You're going there and there. Dogs, train you. You are correct. So it looks like everything up here is fine. Buffalo calf. We have buffalo calf. Oh, okay. Hmm. Just got to think in Muffalo Calf, which means we could eventually call another Muffalo, which made me think of hunting. Let's pause and take a look around. It's 8 in the morning. We've got a small herd going on over here. Is that 5? Plus 2 of these. Huh. Anything else wander in? We are toward the 7th of August, so middle of summer. So we have the rest of summer, rest of autumn to hunt. Winter, a lot of it goes away. So I need to pick a few of these guys while we're not in the middle of a raid to go off and do some hunting on their own. And then get a crew together to go and hunt. Let's do a quick hunt. Can I do a quick hunt? We're 45 minutes into this. Let's see what I can do in 10 minutes. In fact, maybe what I'll do is I'll assign everything and get them on their way and I'll just kind of cut over to that scene so we don't spend another 10 minutes just going through person by person and figuring it out. We have so many characters now that it's 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 getting a little uh, time consuming to go through that roster so I'll be right back. All right here's our hunting crew here. We've got Rabbit, Tomislav, Oath Knight, Radar, Michael, Kaya, Shantigo, and Klaus. So these are the ones that weren't immediately doing something too important to drag them away. 
and let's let's see what a minigun can do with this. Looks like everybody can reach. We've got mostly assault rifles. There's a, a revolver and there's a minigun. I want to see the minigun enrage these guys and, and suddenly it goes really bad. <laughs> there it goes. Calling us needs treatment. Billy. Oh, what? A social fight. <laughs> I thought for sure Oath Knight shot and killed somebody. <laughs> um, um, Billy and Cyprian were over here doing some art, and apparently somebody offended somebody. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> right in the middle of this. Uh, well, I'm going to have to do both at the same time. Yep, you guys move up into here. And let's go see what's going on with these guys. Um, Billy is... Who offended who? Social? Billy was insulted by Cyprian. Okay. Yeah, they're having a little artist tiff over here. Combat. Billy poked... No, Billy flailed while trying to smash Cyprian. Cyprian used his head to slam Billy. Billy attempted to use his right fist to strike Cyprian, but the swing went wide, and Cyprian smashed Billy in the right leg. And Billy tripped while trying to smash Cyprian with his left fist. Cyprian smashed Billy, bruising his right leg while smirking. Another round. Boom, boom, boom. Um, smirking. Billy smashed Cyprian with his dirty right fist, injuring his right arm while wearing a Blank look. Cyprian tried to smash Billy, but stumbled at the last second. And out here, you guys need to... You just need to wait for a minute. This won't take another round or two, and it'll be done. Then we'll go back and watch the other one. And boom, boom. Billy smashed Cyprian in the torso, leaving a horrific wound. No, no, no. No wounding, guys, okay? No wounding. We're low on medicine. In fact, we are low on medicine. I just realized that we are out of the Nutramine which means we have 33 medicine left. And you guys, you guys, you're only getting herbals on this one. Yeah, Billy struck Cyprian with right fist, clobbering his left leg while wearing a savage look. Cyprian tried to use his head to smash Billy. That never goes well for anybody. Nobody wins in a headbutt. Um, Billy hit Cyprian with a smash from his left fist, smashing his left shoulder and left clavicle while grimacing, and Cyprian struck Billy in the left arm ruthlessly. How long are these guys going to go at it? Billy slammed Cyprian, bruising his right arm and right radius in an explosion of gore. So far, we have a bruise and a crack. Over here, well, Cyprian, elf, Cyprian is, is, yeah, he's getting, he's getting pummeled here. Uh-huh. Back to combat. Slam Cyprian, right arm. Yep. Those explosion of gore. Cyprian used his head to bash Billy, clobbering his torso and spine while wearing a blank look. Billy attempted to use his mental break risk. It's faith. His head to strike Cyprian, but hesitated at the last second. Good choice. Cyprian tried to smash Billy with his forceful left fist, but stumbled. At the last second, Billy smashed Cyprian in the nose while grimacing. Cyprian smashed Billy with his sturdy head. He finally landed a head blow with his head, smashing his left leg without emotion. And Billy attempted to smash Cyprian, but hesitated at the last second. Cyprian missed Billy. Billy attempted to use his right fist, and we're... Something's dying over here. Cyprian tried to clobber. Billy attempted to use right fist. What is happening? I think we just got exhausted. Yep, we agreed to disagree and we're going to bed. Where you guys are not getting the good stuff. Uh-uh. Cracks and bruises. Cracks. Bruises. Yep, that's all you're getting. And you'll be lucky if there's a doctor available for you. Anyway... Back to Oath Knight. Over here, you guys. Take out. You reach it? Take out all of these. Okay, this one. Takes a while to get the uh, the minigun wound up. Minigun, let's look at that. Oath Knight, gear, minigun. Warm up. Three whole seconds before it can start to shoot. That's one of the reasons why I've always stayed away from them. Cool down. Up there. A little over a second and a half to cool down. 
32 range, 30 shots. The 30 shots is where it is the minigun strength. Accuracy, at most 55%. That's if you're touching it. So we're 10 to 20% accuracy at the range that we're playing with. Otherwise, have a fun, guys. All right, right there, and we're going to... We had two Ibex in the area. You guys snuck off over here. Let's go over here real quick. Everybody, right there. Let's take out the two Ibex, and then Michael's going to hunt that one, and everybody else is going to haul everything else down. All right, we're in place, and do your thing. And one more. Okay. All of you guys undraft. Michael, right there. Let's have you, actually, let's set you, you to hunt. Let's set you to hunt. <clears throat> Michael, you're hunting this one. Oath Knight. There you are. You're going to hunt this one with a minigun. That'll be interesting, huh? Um, yep, right there. Otherwise, Kaya, you can haul... Oops, let's pull out. Unforbid. Unforbid. Okay. Kaya... Haul that one in. <clears throat> Michael, Tomislav, haul this one in. Shantigo, that one. Radar, haul that one. Klaus, this one. And we have one too many hunters for hauling. Didn't accidentally kill anything else, right? Right. So everybody else can go off and do what they need to. I set while I was picking these guys out, I said, well, let's watch this while I'm doing that. Um, all of these small prey on the map for hunt. I guess you did it. Okay, that was your first little burst and it worked. There's a rat I missed. Oh, you're dead. Well, we did take you out. Rabbit, where'd you go? Right there. Pop up and grab this one. Good. Right there. Okay, so with that, I think after this episode, I'm going to pick a handful of these guys to do some hunting. Just go out and pick up all the rats and squirrels and, and rabbits that you can. And turkeys and the two alpaca that are roaming around wild. Haul all those in. We're going to keep meat supply coming in to offset the lack of vegetable supply in the, in the map. At least we'll have a constant supply of simple meals if it comes down to that. Um, otherwise... I guess we'll call this one done. I was really hoping that that recruit failed, that Dina would have been recruited for this next episode, but maybe the one after that. So with that, we're going to call this one finished. It's been Old Boy Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.